hey team and welcome back you already know the game if you didn't do so go and subscribe to my youtube channel this would mean the world to me in today's and last week's vlog we're going to talk about a few simple but major hacks you should know and focus on no matter if you are a beginner intermediate or advanced runner i'm going to be 100 transparent with you by showing you that running can be amazing as hell but it can also suck sometimes also i'm going to give you my favorite restaurant recommendation here in Casio and last but not least I'm going to finish off by enjoying the last days before heading back home if you're interested then stay tuned good morning so let's do a little recap for Greece holidays and um, yeah so Oh, sorry guys, I'm still so tired. It is 7 a.m. It is actually almost 8 a.m. And I'm drinking my coffee. I'm always drinking, like, in the morning also at home, I'm always drinking coffee, water with lemon juice inside. You already know that. And I'm adding, yeah, lemon juice. And... Yeah, I'm obviously, I'm obviously still tired. Um, so my brain still needs time to function. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and I also drink peppermint tea with lemon juice inside too. And now we are almost one week here in Greece. And we still have more than two weeks to go. So I'm pretty happy about that. In my second week, actually, I'm going to be completely off because I just, I just said to myself, I just said to myself that one part I'm going to document everything for you guys. I'm going to do my vlog, but it is also very essential. Let's say you're doing social media as well um, as a side hustle or as a, I don't know, maybe as well full time job. Uh, I would always say you also have to take your off time. It doesn't matter what you do actually, it doesn't have to be social media, like social media is not my full time job. So for those who don't know, I'm also, I think that many of you know me from my flight attendant time. So I was flight attendant first with Air Berlin, this was a German airline, then with EasyJet, a British airline and uh, everything ended uh, at the beginning of this year but that's fine um i already let's say how can i say for me i was already done with this job anyways so um yeah i already decided for myself that uh being a flight attendant wasn't the job i went i wanted to do my whole life so i decided actually last not two years ago already or three years ago when i started as a flight attendant i wanted to become a pilot so this was actually my plan to go for the beginning of this year, for the beginning of last year. Oh my gosh, time flies. That's, that's crazy. Um, but then the pandemic came in between. But that's another story. I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm ch when I'm chit-chatting with you, it's like I could tell you my whole life. But I just wanted to do a little recap now from Greece. So let's come back to Greece. It is a beautiful island. It is a small island so i was pretty afraid about my half marathon run let's start with that one i did my half marathon run on monday and this is what i'm usually doing as well at home i'm running at the beginning of the week i'm trying to run my half marathon because for me it has something to do with the mindset so when i'm getting started on monday i already know okay the week is gonna start great so it's gonna be it's gonna be a great week when I get started with my workouts, especially with my half marathon and the half marathon run is a heavy run. So for a beginner especially, um, but even for me myself, um, I'm already running my half marathon already for almost one year now and still I have times when and then it, it can be pretty tough, it can be pretty tough. And this is why I'm starting at the beginning of the week because I'm still having a lot of energy I'm still having yeah like all energy i can just put on the beginning of the week i hope it makes sense to you so 
that's why we arrived on saturday on sunday we had an off day where when it comes to workouts and fitness and then on monday i started clean again and i started my half marathon and i already said on instagram that i was pretty afraid to find ways to go for a run what i first did was because i don't know this island of course um, we are the first time here we're the first time here in Cassiope. That's a beautiful island, guys. Really, I can just recommend it. Um, I hope um, you're gonna see it on my vlog. I hope it's gonna, um, yeah, give you a little insight and you're gonna love to visit this island as well. It's amazing. So, um, where was I? So, yeah, I started on Monday. Uh, yeah, I. what I wanted to say is I went to Komoot. Uh, I don't know if some of you know this app. Um, where you can try to find some routes to, I don't know, to bike, to run, whatever you want to do, or to hike. And I wanted to find some routes here on, uh, on here on the on the island here on Cassiope. I just could find one, and this was incredibly weird because Komoot has quite a lot of routes, but it seems that here in Greece, Komoot is not really common. But my boyfriend actually found uh, another app. I'm going to mention it to you. Um, somewhere here or somewhere here I'm going to let you know because I just forgot the name of this app and this is another app which shows quite a lot of routes here on Cassiope Island this is crazy this is nice because we were also thinking to go hiking next week so we're going to do like a 60 no not a 60 oh my gosh <laughs> 60 is quite a lot um, I don't know if we can manage a 60 hiking route uh, also in this like hot sun but we wanted to do a 16 hiking route uh, for next week yeah that's about that I'm going to as I said to mention you the the app somewhere here so um, just in case you are also in Greece you can then just use it all right, I'm still tired, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm speaking also very, very slow. I'm so, so tired. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're going to. No, let's 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 keep going with the run. So on Monday was my half marathon run. I couldn't find anything on Komoot, so what I did was just discovering the island. So you know, you can always find ways. I know that people tend to find excuses. Um, just not to get started with things uh, but this is the same with running if you really want to get started with running you can always find ways this is why sorry for the noises so uh, there are always some cars um, driving or some some motorbikes um, so you can always find ways to go running or to get started with things it doesn't matter what kind of things you want to get started with but if you're kind of person always trying to find excuses, you will always, you, to be honest, you will always find excuses. You can always find excuses. Like I could have said, okay, mm, Komo doesn't show me any routes. I'm just not gonna do my half marathon. But you know, guys, <laughs> most of the excuses are just a lame excuses. I'm sorry to say that, but I hate excuses to be honest, because those are only things to do or you always only find excuses just to make you feel better for not getting started with something and this is just yeah um no words to that i'm not gonna judge people doing that okay i just want to say that uh it, it's just not necessary so okay we're just gonna finish this one it's fine it's not fine to find excuses but people doing it um yeah i can just say if you really want to get started with things Stop your excuses. Just uh, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then I ran two other runs this week. I did a 12 kilometers run. And I also did... Uh, let's think. Ah, yeah. Yeah, on, on Wednesday we did a 10 kilometers run. And I also did a few workouts. Um... So I also did a few workouts on Wednesday as well. So I mix it a little bit. This is what I'm doing as well at home, but not as much as I should do. So I should do much more workouts as well. So my boyfriend is much more 
workout focus than I am but this is great because this motivates me too to do workouts workouts are amazing they are pretty pretty important as well for your running journey because they're gonna strengthen your whole body they're gonna strengthen your core and everything so this is pretty important as well so it is a good part you should add in your running journey too uh, this is why I'm posting workouts as well here on my YouTube uh, channel for those who didn't really understand why I'm doing that um, and yeah this is that about Wednesday and yesterday was Thursday yeah on Thursday we did an easy five kilometer run it was already pretty hot yesterday like the weather is like this here like the weather is always warm but um, it is between 30 and 37 degrees no 35 and 39 degrees we are almost at 40 degrees like like yesterday we were almost at 40 degrees this is crazy incredibly hot um and you could really feel it in the air like it was really heavy and tough to go for a run that's why guys i don't know if you're an early bird or a night owl or i don't know but for me but it depends also on your rhythm of the day, when you're going to, to your job, when you're having off days, when you're having free time. But I would always recommend everyone to get started with running in the morning. Or maybe as well in the evening when, it, when the air cools off a little bit. Because in the morning, I love doing it in the morning because I'm a much more, uh, I'm, a more I'm a morning person. So that's it. So I'm a morning person and I love doing it in the morning. Um, the air is pretty fresh and uh, especially here in Greece the air gets hot pretty fast like especially here in Greece the temperature are increasing quite 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 fast that's why as well I don't know it depends where you're living but for example in Germany that's fine like I have my times I know when it's getting hot uh, and when it's cooling off so those are things you should maybe consider as well in your running journey please please guys avoid running in the sun like in a heavy sun this is not good for your body like it is said and it's also proven that running in a heavy afternoon sun it's almost the same like um, smoking one pack of cigarettes i'm not kidding this is like why should you do that to yourself yeah so um those are the three runs for this week um i will see how next week it's gonna get um yeah we will see how it's gonna be next week so i'm pretty excited because to be honest here in greece i'm a little bit more spontaneous with my workouts and with my running journey but i can only recommend you not to be <laughs> or not to do that um you know don't try to copy paste everything i'm doing or everything everybody else is doing try to find your own rhythm try to find your own kind of style i'm trying to be a little more strict because i know during holidays we tend especially during holidays to be um or to follow our workouts a little less so yeah it can be pretty tough but for the first week i'm pretty pretty proud of us like yeah we woke up pretty early like we almost woke up at the same time as at home mm. and that's great the food here Mwah. This is like, whoo! <laughs> it's like a whole other level. It's just amazing. We're eating quite a lot of fish here, so quite a lot of proteins. Only the day before yesterday, we ate meat, and meat is just so heavy for the body. Like I'm realizing it all the time. I love meat. Like I'm, uh, like I was thinking very often to go vegan um but i'm just a meat fan uh, i don't know if it's gonna change in the future but i'm just realizing that meat is quite heavy for the body like my boyfriend and i we're not eating quite a lot of meat at home as well so we're eating quite a lot of fish as well at home a lot of vegetables and salad so um and also it is pretty tough here with the bread so you know me by now some of you that bread gets me really bloated, especially wheat flavor bread. And the, here in Greece, the Greek, the Greek people love to eat quite a lot of wheat flavor bread, but their bread is incredible, guys. Running activates your digestion, activates your body, your metabolism. And those are all reasons why I'm doing that because your body, um, 
because your body when reaching a certain age your metabolism is not gonna be the best anymore and you just have to activate things sometimes you just have to yeah do a little bit more more things go a little bit more yeah higher milestones to um still enjoy life but that's fine but still i'm not running only because of my metabolism um my main reason is really food like i'm a food lover i could eat the whole day i'm not kidding and food is something that's pushing me through and um and also the overall body feeling i just know that doing a lot of fitness um, especially running doing cardio is good for your body and uh, your body is just gonna thank you when aging so best thing to get started so when i'm not getting you motivated during my grease vlog to get started running then i don't know i really hope that this is gonna motivate you you know it's not like it's not about all this fleshy stuff and about like the uh, the ocean about the food and everything those are not the things i want you to get motivated about i really hope that the running insides as well are getting you motivated um i know it can be pretty pretty tough and um also yeah it can be tough to get started running i, I really know that but I also know that pushing through is something that can always be worth it with, with everything you're doing in life and with every goal you're setting yourself. So therefore, just push through. And also with running, I can just say it's going to be the best thing in the world. Even though, okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys, even though the uphills here, I'm running quite a lot of uphills. I forgot to say that. My first half marathon was like, oh let's say around seven to eight kilometers uphill like okay in between there were downhills too but most of the times it was 80 percent uphill i was dying and every time also yesterday when we did five kilometers uphill i'm dying every time and it was only five kilometers so i'm not lying to you running gonna be it's okay i'm not lying to you i, I just can't lying uh lying <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? So running can be pretty tough. It doesn't matter in which phase of running you are. If you are a beginner, intermediate or advanced runner, you're always gonna face like very, very tough days. Okay? Okay. This is what I was talking about. Running is not always fun. And I'm going to be always 100% real with you. But as soon as you get through all these tough runs, because remember, you can always relate tough running days with tough days in your life, right? And as soon as you get through them, this is going to determine how dedicated you are and how strong you are. And believe me, you are much stronger than you think you are. This is just a game. But this is with everything. This is my... This is my opinion about running. So this is why I'm convinced that you can put running to all other aspects in your life. So every time a run is tough, it's like the same when something in your life is tough. You just have to push through and uh, to go through this hurdle and after that, it's gonna be worth it. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna come stronger, you know? You kinda, the outcome is always gonna be better and you're gonna be stronger than before and this is what all of that is about in this channel to become the best version you can be and guys sometimes you just have to push through sometimes it's just gonna be hard but this is the game and after that you're gonna be the strongest self you can be the best version you can be so this is all about putting action but also enjoying right <laughs> oh. Oh, it was so hard <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was pretty tough today. Third half marathon done in Greece. And I'm done. Oh, today my whole body hurts. It's crazy. Every day is gonna be so different. Like two days ago, it was a great one. 
my half marathon two days ago guys Mwah. it was like it felt so easy i ran with my boyfriend like halfway through he was running with me like the last um 15 kilometers and usually i run alone so i'm more a loner runner <laughs> so it's pretty easy for me to run but today oh and additionally the temperature in greece today is pretty low to be honest so running is unpredictable you will never know if the run is gonna be easy during the day or it's gonna be a very tough run it's always gonna be a surprise and today it was a quite hard and heavy surprise it wasn't oh it wasn't easy yeah but it's okay this is the hurdle of running so you're gonna be ups and downs nobody say it's easy yeah that's true <laughs> but yeah uh, yeah in long run it's gonna make you stronger and surprisingly i must say that afterwards it, it's pretty weird because like five minutes ago i felt so done like i was i was done for the day i was like whew, it was the heaviest run i ever had but it's not true i already won at 50 kilometers and it was hard as well but today it felt hard as well too but now like five minutes later it's good again it's fine i'm feeling okay again i'm feeling relaxed so my boyfriend always says that it's pretty how can i say he, he finds it really nice how my body regenerates pretty fast um and he finds he finds it amazing so yeah i'm pretty thankful for that my body is still young and i'm trying to keep it fit as long as possible but it's not gonna be always like that guys we're aging that's fine but what you can do is to keep our body as fit as possible so the aging process is yeah as how can i say okayish as possible when it comes to some pains later uh, in a higher age oh guys i'm literally dying what my boyfriend just did he was just picking up the trash laying around there was a plastic bottle and he was just picking it up and throwing it away so that's a great role model we should all pick trash up and throw it away if we can let's freeze for a moment because if you didn't watch it go back to my last greece vlog i was talking about the pollution of the environment here in greece because this is a huge problem happening here it is a poor level of organization when it comes to the waste management so i would say go back and watch it because we could all try to make the world a little bit better at least by trying and throwing our waste away and also by educating ourselves and knowing what is going on around the world, not only in your own country, but try to get as much information as possible about other countries around you and what is going on around the globe. This is so important, guys. Education is key. Education is a must in order for us to make a change. So let's keep going. I will blend you a part of an interesting article I found online about this huge topic. This article was written by two Greece experts in waste management. So if you want to read the whole article, you can find it in my description box below. So guys, go and educate yourself. Oh, Alright, I'm done for today. See you. And go around the world and forget to hit the road today. It's going to be worth it. Even if I'm in a pain right now, it doesn't look like fun. It is fun. I swear. It can be. <laughs> Sometimes. 
most of the times. <laughs> See. So that's it about that. Um, so let's see how next week is gonna be. And I'm going to show you all the insides. If you're interested, of course, it's a vlog. I'm also gonna show you all my running insides. But guys, also don't try to focus too much on pace, but this is another topic. This video is gonna get too long uh, otherwise, but just to get into it really quick, pace is not everything. I know that, especially as a beginner runners, um, you tend to really pressure yourself when it comes to pace and you think you are a good runner only when you're running very fast, but this is wrong. I used to think that way as well. I used to think that running fast means I'm a great runner, but it's wrong. Even the slow runs are amazing to improve your speed as well, but to improve your overall running, let's say habits and uh, also running abilities as well. So please focus as well on the slow runs. But as I said, it's another topic. If you're interested, let me know. And also, yeah, let me know, please, guys, in the comment section below in which, let's say, stage you are right now in your running journey. Are you a beginner runner? Are you an intermediate runner? Are you, uh, yeah, advanced runner as well? So everyone is welcome here, every runner, but also every fitness person, every fitness lover, every runner lover so let me know and also let me know in the comment section below what are your running or fitness goals i would love to know that one with that said um today is by the way friday and um my boyfriend and i we're gonna go now for our last workout of the week and then we're just gonna chill today so saturday and sunday it's just gonna be an off day for for us so no workouts, no running. So um, by the way, also another very important topic. First of all, drink a lot, not only coffee, because coffee can dehydrate quite a lot. Coffee, 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 yeah, in German. If you drink too much coffee, it can soak out your like water retention you have in your body. Drink much more water, like lemon juice is amazing. Lemon juice is activating your metabolism. That's why I'm always drinking lemon juice. I'm a lemon juice fan. And also like, yeah, drink as much as you can. I'm trying to drink three to four liters a day. And also give your body as much rest as possible. Also another topic, we're gonna go get into it in another video as well. But rest is essential for your body. Recovery is essential for your body in order to gain a lot of energy again and just to power in the next uh, workout or in the next run as well. So with that said, to rest, to drinking a lot of water, to getting started your running journey and for us to get started our workout today, I think we're gonna focus I'm gonna focus uh, on uh, on core because I'm really convinced that a strong core is really important to push you through your fitness journey and running journey, especially during running. The core is gonna stabilize. Um, it's gonna stabilize your your posture. So uh, yeah, and during runs, it is really important. Like your running technique is really important as well. But quite a lot of topics here, but we are all gonna cover them here on YouTube. But for now, guys, now I'm a little more awake. And I would say we're just getting started because otherwise um, I won't get started. And by the way, as well, guys, think of stretching a lot. So stretching is really, really important as well. Before your runs, like doing a little warm up is really important. That's why I love to start my runs pretty like slow. So don't forget warm-ups, like start pretty slow in your runs. Uh, I love to do that and also to stretch a little bit beforehand, um, but also after your runs as well. Stretching is so important because I feel it when I'm not stretching for a whole week, my body feels so sore. And this is what I got a little bit of back pain now because I just forgot to stretch for a week. So this is your body is gonna pay you off if you do the things if you don't um, then you're gonna regret <laughs> so just do it it's gonna be a benefit for you and your body and don't forget running 
your fitness journey and every goal you have in your life is mindset so if you really and truly want to get started you're gonna do it and um, I believe in you so should you and I would just say a cheers to getting started okay all right so <laughs> by the way go around the world <laughs> Run. Run. tatsächlich dieses schwere also Skin the Cat, also wenn man sich dann hochzieht und umdreht mm. ist cool, ne? ja, das finde ich sehr gut cool. Also gerade für dich ist es wirklich gut für dich. 